Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Uh, wanted to introduce you to my latest book. Yes, I wrote yet another book. Uh, the temple he was referring to was his body. This is about, you know, your body's a temple. Every religion in the world talks about the, the body as a temple. Islam does, Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism. They all talk about how, you know, this is your temple and you should honor it. And that's what God gave us. I think even atheists will tell you, hey, you know, you got to, you know, watch your body. That's your health. Well, when you put the wrong things into your body, um, the result is disease. It's as simple as that. Uh, you know, I'm a raw foodist. I only eat raw fruits and vegetables. Um, but there's lots of things I'd rather do than eat, you know, a salad every single night. Or I've, I've had fruit today and uh, spirulina and chlorella and um, lots of water, of course, and maybe a few supplements. But that's it. I'm not, I'm not sitting here and I'm certainly not hungry or starving or any of that kind of stuff. Um, you get used to it and you, you really you begin your body really are sending these signals to the brain saying, hey, I've got enough nutrition. You, you, I don't have to be fed every five seconds because when you go to, you know, fast food joint or you eat some crappy food, um, you know, there's no nutrition there. So just a short time later, your body's crying out, please give me some nutrients. No, you're hungry again. That's how where all this obesity comes from. This book and all, I've got four other books. I've got four books now that are on audible.com. So you can listen to these books and I hope you do go out there and get there. But that's my latest one. I'll just tell you a quick thing. You know, it's hard to uh, control the words that come out of your mouth. Um, and, but you can do it. You know, when, when you go over it, when you're in the right company, uh, you don't start cussing and swearing, even though maybe when you're with the, the guys and you're watching a football game, maybe you're cussing and swearing up a storm or something. But you know that when you go to grandma's house or, you, you know, you go to turkey dinner, you don't start using the wrong kind of language. You control that stuff. It's even more d difficult for a person to control their carnal urges. Um, you know, maybe having a one night stand or cheating on your spouse, whatever it is. But for the most part, people say, you know, boy, I would really like to do something like that, but I can't. I'll destroy my marriage. I'll, I'll destroy my family. So you control yourself. So, but that's more difficult than controlling the words. The most difficult thing is to control what goes into your mouth. That's what everybody has the greatest problem with is put it, what goes into that mouth. So, you know, people, I want my burger and fries. I just love a good hamburger. Well, you know, to be honest with you, I, I like hamburgers. I, I haven't eaten meat in 42 years. Can you believe it? 42 years. And the reason I don't eat meat, the primary reason is, is it's not healthy for you. Eat meat, fish, eggs, and dairy. These are very, you know, secondary, uh, you know, inferior forms of food and a protein. Just stay away from them. You got spirulina and chlorella. Uh, I tell people all the time, these are the foods you want to put into your body. Spirulina and chlorella. That's my spirulina and chlorella with CGF there. That's all I eat for my protein. It's vastly superior to animal protein. I've been doing this for 20 years now. I feel fantastic. I'm clear-headed. I'm clear-minded. I feel great. And so those are that, that's the most difficult thing is to control your appetite. And I have, you know, I have as much problem as anyone else. Boy, I wish I could stop and just pick up a nice big pizza. And, and I wish that was like a big uh, salad, but it's not. And I mean, I love pizza. That's really my favorite food in the world. But I avoid it at all costs. And I might once in a while have a little tiny piece of pizza and cheat. But that's a little cheat. It's not my lifestyle. My lifestyle is having a salad every single night. This is what I've been doing for all these years, and uh, it has br brought me tremendous health. And of course, your body is the temple, and uh, you know you got to put the right foods into it. And if you do, you'll be healthy. And when you put the wrong things into it, when you put the wrong substances into it, the result every single time is disease. That's where disease comes from. It doesn't come from your genes. It doesn't come from anywhere else other than the decisions you make to put the foods into your body that you like the taste of. And that's why we do it. So do your best to try to avoid these things, you know, and if you've got some kind of a disease and you're sitting around, you're, what, what am I going to do about this? You go look in the mirror, cure in the mirror right there. Go look in the mirror and you'll see whether you see this unhealthy guy or the really healthy guy looking back. It's just up to you. And it's empowerment. You can really do it if you want to. Dr. Bob, see you next time.